Well, I appreciate the opportunity you're giving me, Mr. Cromwell, as the single largest shareholder in Teldor paper to speak. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not here to indulge in fantasy, but in political and economic reality. America, America has become a second-rate power. Its trade deficit and fiscal deficits are at nightmarish proportions. Now, in the days of free market, when our country is at the top of its industrial power, there was accountability to the stockholder. The Carnegies, the Mellons, the men that built this great industrial empire made sure there was accountability because their own money was at stake. Today, management has no stake in the company. Altogether, these men sitting up here own less than 3%. And where does Mr. Cromwell put his million dollar salary? Not until our stock. He owns less than 1%. You own the company. That's right. Stockholder. And you are all being royally screwed over by these bureaucrats with their luncheons, their hunting and fishing trips, their big corporate jets, golden parachutes. Tell Dar Paper, Mr. Cromwell. Teldor Paper has 33 different vice presidents, each earning over $250,000 a year. Now, I've spent the last couple months looking into all this, and I still don't know what these vice presidents do. I can't figure it out. One thing I do know is that our paper company lost $110 million last year, and I bet that half of that was spent in all the paperwork going back and forth between all these vice presidents. The new law of evolution in corporate America seems to be survival of the unfittest. Well, in my book, you have to do it right or you get eliminated. In the last seven deals I've been involved with, there were 2.5 million stockholders that made a pre-tax profit of $12 billion. I am not a destroyer of companies. I am a liberator of them. The point is, ladies and gentlemen, that greed, for lack of a better word, is good. Greed is right. Greed works. Greed clarifies, cuts through and captures the essence of the evolutionary spirit. Greed in all of its forms, greed for life, greed for money, for love, for knowledge, have marked the upward surge of mankind. And greed, you mark my words, not only saved Tildor Company, but that other malfaction corporation as well, called the USA. Thank you very much.